Hello everyone, this is Finish Duck here, uh, back with some more uh, Let's Play Sly Raccoon. And uh, in the na in the last episode, we uh, started Cord Cold Heart of Hate and almost finished it too. But uh, now we're here at the cusp of taking down the big bad clockwork. Uh, but yeah, we did a bunch of cool missions. And now we're gonna do what I believe is like fucking amazing this is like my favorite final boss in the series so let, let's go we're gonna have a bunch of dialogue and cutscenes so I'm gonna just shut up completely let's go okay that jetpack is easy to fly okay we have this thing first actually uh, the jetpack is inverted <laughs> so I'll do this and I think that should be better maybe Yes, good. Button to fire its rockets. Sly! Behind you! Sly Cooper, you have escaped my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Remarkable. You Coopers always find a way to beat me. Always? So that was you in the background of all those old pictures in the Thievius Raccoonus. How old are you? Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate, awaiting a day when I would finally eclipse your family's thieving reputation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Aw, oh, yeah! Oh, I love, I love that cutscene. I love that. Yes, yeah, sure, whatever. But uh, yeah, I love that quote where he says, "Perfection has no age." It's just, I love this. I love Clockwork. He's, he's my favorite boss in the game and my favorite villain in the game and just my favorite villain in the series. It's just uh, this, this guy, this. Fucking guy! Oh god, I, I love him. And I love this boss fight. Because even though it's technically a vehicle section, I I I it controls really well, so yay. Nice shooting, Sly! You got him! Yay! Wow, that's one tough owl! I don't get it. You're so familiar with my family. You must have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world that without your precious book, the Cooper line was nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I'll finish you like I finished your father. Then the Cooper line will be erased, and the only master thief will be Clockwork. I love him. It's uh... you can't dodge me forever. Okay, yeah. Uh, I love I love the dialogue in this uh, in this uh, boss fight. It's so good. I you I love I love uh, uh, Clockwork. He's such a great villain, and. Uh, even though this is technically a vehicle section, like I said, it controls really well. And, may, and I realize maybe I shouldn't have changed the uh, uh, controls for the jetpack because I'm pretty used to the inverted controls. But that's okay. We can cope, I think, maybe. Uh, My skills are superior. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he, he just keeps spouting like that he's better than us because why not? But yeah. Uh, the the boss fight. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Yes, I know you're a fucking yeah. Uh, one thing I also love about Clockwork is just his like uh, voice. I love the robotic touch he she he has. It's just so great. Now's your only chance, Sly. You've got to get to his head and destroy it before his auto reconstruct circuitry kicks in. Yeah, uh, it's not entirely just uh, um, what you call it, uh, uh, jetpacking, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, the each of the there are three different faces to this fight, and uh, they're all different. And by the way, if you didn't notice, this music is fucking amazing. It's like my favorite track in the entire game, and 
the entire series, it's it's so good. I love this track. It's it's so perfect for this boss fight, and oh, I love it so much. It's so great. But uh, yeah, let's go beat up Clockwork. I am. Yes, you are. Seven. Bean selling. Yes. Okay. Flowers. Yeah, flowers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The. Have a team. I have no idea what he said there, actually. But yeah, uh, this uh, third phase is interesting because, again, like uh, Sinking Peril, uh, I will live. Yeah, he, he will live. But yeah, like Sinking Peril, uh, you get to use your platforming skills in this boss fight. And hello, now we get to beat him up! And uh, he says Not random stuff, like... Yeah, something, Shift something. F5. He's he's he's, halluc he's hallucinating. He's uh, hallucinating. I'm sure there's like a video where you can hear the full dialogue. But uh, yeah, this is the best part of the fight where we get to just smack his head. Cooper, you will never be rid of me. Clockwork is superior. Okay, sure. Bye bye. We did it. I still love that boss fight, I... Mm. It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's Claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray, boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, One. I love them. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. Ah. Uh. <sighs> okay, yeah. That was good. I... I... Mm. Okay, yeah. That was, uh, Sly Raccoon. This, this is a very good game, and this credits music is really good, uh, but uh, I'm gonna talk over it because I'm stupid. But yeah, uh, we've only been going on for 8 minutes because it was just the boss fight, and I did a lot better in this level in general than I thought I would, but uh, yeah, we, I, I actually can't believe we did that in like 2 episodes, and this last one is gonna be like really short, maybe, but... Actually, we still have one thing we left to do, so maybe it won't be as short. But uh, yeah, uh, this game is really good. Uh, not not my favorite Sly game, definitely. It's definitely my least favorite of all of them. But I do enjoy it for what it is, and uh, definitely, if you if you want to start like try out the series, I'd still recommend uh, starting with the first one because. Yeah, uh, I, I, there are still things that I really do like about this game, like that final boss, it's, it's so good, and just this final level is really good, so, yeah, we, we did it, we beat it, but, uh, yeah, uh, we still have one thing to do, we gotta get that final save, so, I'm, I'm gonna explain my thoughts a little bit in detail after we get that final save, but, yeah, 
There goes the credits. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Good good talk, Mary. Okay, yeah. Uh I hate to tell you this, Sly, but the Phoebeus Raccoonus isn't fully restored. You're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing. There is some good news, though. A friend of mine in Japan just sent me this really cool movie. And guess what? It's all about us! Yeah, uh, after beating the game, you get this... Like, the animation of the first uh, cutscene. And, yeah, okay, oh, I didn't actually know you can skip it, but, uh, yeah, you get, uh, an animation of the weird, the first cutscene, uh, from the, uh, Japanese version, for some reason. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, uh, we did it, we beat the game, and, uh, now we're gonna go get the final bottle, and because we still have time, I'm not gonna cut it cut it out or anything, but uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the reason why we couldn't get the final save was so we could have that dialogue where Bentley's like, hey, the Thievius Raccoon is... is okay, yeah. Uh, I can't skip this. Shut up, Fuck. Yeah. I don't know what you're they're they're talking to. again. I'm sure it can't be good for whoever oh, owns this okay. Place. Yeah. Only have eyes for me if you're too blind cool. To see okay. On. Yeah. I know. I Thanks. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I I was gonna say something, but I already forgot what it was. There's a horseshoe. I will take it, even though I don't really need it. Maybe. And maybe I'll need it. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Again, I was gonna say something. Yeah. Uh, the reason why uh the we couldn't get the final save was so the thing wouldn't be inconsistent and Bentley could still say that line yeah <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, I was gonna say something again yeah uh, I think I'm just gonna go over my final thoughts on the game uh, <clears throat> while we play through this and get the fight before we get the final save uh, again yes I I do like this game and yeah stuff uh, I do recommend it to, a, to an extent anyway uh, it, it has a lot of annoying stuff that uh, ultimately makes this game my least favorite in the series <clears throat> but and again I just prefer the uh, format or the, or the gameplay style in the uh, later games in slide 2, 3 and 4 uh, while in this game it, this it isn't bad by any means but like yeah I just like the other one and well I I can tolerate like one hit kill uh, like one hit point uh, uh, life meter things like I, I mean I, I really like Crash Bandicoot so it shouldn't come as that much of a surprise but uh, uh, again the later games have kind of spoiled me so I just like the thing better and just the first the later games do their vehicle sections for the most part at least a lot better than this first game and it, it just has a lot less annoyances they the both both slide two and three and four uh thieves in time rather uh have a lot less uh, are a lot less annoying than this first game or than this what this first game at least can be and uh, I didn't actually remember if you fall down, you you get sent all the way back to, yeah. <laughs> but okay. Uh, but yeah, there's the final save. Let's go open it. Press the circle to enter okay. The yeah. Code. Give me. Multiple blood vessels burst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be two, three, one. Okay. And uh, that's the final save. It's ours. Give me. Give me the thing. Amazing! Colonel Reed Cooper's Time Stopper technique! Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. Sly is a Time Lord. 
Now he can slow down, uh, speed up, and uh, also stop time. Because why not? At long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the fiendish five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me, and become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is going to be fun. Ah. Uh, good old Sly. Uh, okay, we're just going to have the credits again? Okay. Sure, whatever. But yeah, that was the... Uh, a safe ending, quote unquote. Uh, you get this cool little cutscene when you get all the saves. I don't know if you get anything like special from beating all the uh, Master Thief sprints. I think I think you get a like a making of like movie or something. I'm not 100% cer certain, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do those because again. I've never done them, and they're really hard, so I I won't bother. But I like this this credits music again. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of things to say about this game that I haven't said already. But uh, yeah, I do like most of this game again, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm yeah I'm happy very happy that I got to experience it with you guys with on this let's play thing uh, but uh, yeah I love Sly 1 uh, but I just like the others a little a little bit more but uh, I do love this first game as well even though it's, it's it has its like downsides and just pitfalls which which just uh, overall kind of sour the game a tiny bit but not not like huge amount and here we have the thing where clockwork open his eyes I wonder if there's gonna be a sequel to this game and speaking of which because I'm a Sly Cooper junkie I will be doing the pre nah, following ga games as well you've done it Sly the Thievius Raccoonus is complete now, try beating all the Master Thief sprints to unlock the designer's commentary. Once you've unlocked them all, I've got a special behind-the-scenes movie to show you. Oh, okay, so it, I think it is just making it. So, does that mean we can actually view the live commentary, like, now? Now that we've beaten the game? Let's, let's go check. Because... Because... Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay. I, 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 okay, fine. Let's lose. Fine. Okay, whatever. But yeah, uh, uh, this this was Sly Raccoon. There's the thing, and uh, we still don't have the live commentary. I'm sad. Let's stop time. It only works on guards. That's why you can't see it. But yeah, trust me, it works. I just can't be bothered to go and look for guards. Or maybe I'll just go out in the hub and show you. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, I will be doing slide two and three as, as well at some point. Uh, definitely not right off the bat, and I'm gonna show you. He's dead. He didn't see me. He, the time stopped. But yeah, uh, I will be doing. Slide 2, 3, and Thieves in Time, uh, but not right off the bat. Uh, I'll, I'll wait until I do those. Uh, but uh, as for what I'm going to do after this, uh, I do have uh, an idea of what I'm going to do for my next Let's Play. Uh, nothing's 100% certain, but uh, I, think, I think I have it figured out. But again, if you have any suggestions of your own, uh, die. Um, you can 
put them down in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's not going to be slide 2 or 3 yet, because, uh, no, I will be doing them at some point, though, but not, just not next, so. Uh, and I was going to say something else, too, but I already forgot what it was. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, I'm Finishuck, and uh, this has been the final episode of Let's Play Sly Raccoon, and I hope you have enjoyed watching me play and fail at this game and just play this game in general uh, as much as I had uh, just playing it except when I had to fight Miss Ruby and uh, race yeah and die in the first mission I'll never let that down but you know but uh, I'll see you guys in the next video which hopefully will be a countdown but it might already be out by the end, uh, by the time you see this final episode, but uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in some later videos, and uh, bye.